Hey, by Tyler here with GetEven.com. Um, today we're going to be plastic dipping my emblems, uh, which is just a good old black plastic dip here. Um, the best thing you can do is um, tape it off, give a good distance between them so that when you um, spray it, yeah, it peels off real good. And um, go ahead and mask it all the way around. Um, that way, if it's windy on the day, that thing um, doesn't go every which way. You want to just do an even coat the first time. Make sure you shake up your can and test spray it. And I've tried to do it when it's not too windy. It's a windy day, so I'm gonna try to do it anyways. Here we go. Okay, and then just let that sit for a little while, and then we'll come back and um, and see how it does. Hey, okay, I want Tyler back here, so you can see we got have it done now. I did get some overspray on it. Um, what they say in one of the videos is you can take a microfiber cloth cloth and it'll just rub off since it's not permanent of course. So we're going to go ahead and peel this tape off. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. I've never done it like this before. This being my first time pulling it off like this. I've always done it on wheels and never pulled it off. So. I'm learning this with you guys. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna pull this piece of tape up here. Go ahead. Okay, I see how this stuff's going. You can kind of see how it's peeling up around the edges there. That's exactly what we want. There you go guys, that came off pretty good. And then now you, we have the pieces on the inside there. And to get the piece on the inside, they recommend just taking a screwdriver. And um, I'm gonna try to do it here. This is just a simple flatbread screwdriver that the trade cost of concrete a little to dull it. They say, get in there, kind of pull back. Sorry if my hands are on the way, but there we go. The only one thing I don't like about this plastic dip is just the feel of it. It does give a plastic feel, and um, since it is plastic dips, it does give that plastic feel to it, but I don't know, it doesn't look bad. And it's not like you're gonna go around filling up your emblems all the time.
And last but not least, the last E. There we go. There you guys go. That is the finished product. So here's here's how it turned out with the 4x4 and the Jeep logo, as well as the Laredo symbol. Um, they turned out really, really nice. I liked how they turned out. It looks really good. Um, easy, so easy to do. You just pull on around the edge and stuff like I did on the front. Really, really easy, guys. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Again, check us out on getjeepy.com, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Keep on subscribing, keep on uh, following us. We got a lot more coming soon. Gonna be lifting this vehicle here in the next few days, hopefully. And we will see y'all in the next.